Hi friends, once again welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for watching our previous video. Uh, we had pushed video on how to book your COVID vaccine for 45 plus of age, years of age through COVID uh, 2.0 portal. Uh, there was a lot of queries and we had addressed it on time. So this will tell you how to book uh, COVID vaccine through Arogya Setu. So they have just launched this option so that you can even book through, uh, reserve your uh, slots through uh, Arogya Setu app. What is the advantage is it is more user friendly and the GUI uh, if you are uh, booking through mobile Arogya Setu is uh, easier compared to uh, the COVID uh, 2.0 portal. So let us see how quickly we can do this using Arogya Setu uh, app. So what you can do is I am just demoing in Android mobile you can do it from iPhone also. Uh, go to play store in android and then just type for arogya setu i think almost everyone knows this so already people would have installed this i have installed it in my mobile already that is why it's not uh, showing uh, the install option uh, get option uh, first you have to install it okay i have already installed it after installation just click on open so it is simple interface there is nothing complex here what you can do is just click on this icon covin this is the place you are going to book and once uh, you click on that you can see here lot of options are there certificate and stuff but second option is the one you are going to select vaccination login registered proceed click on proceed button and this login is very simple easy for uh, you don't need any username password you have to just give your mobile number and click on proceed to verify so there will be an otp coming uh, coming in sometimes maybe otp is not coming means you can try with another mobile number or you can even try again later Later. and once the OTP is received just enter the OTP manually and click on proceed to verify button okay so this is easier uh, compared to the COVID 2.0 portal and it is uh, bug is less compared to that portal you can see here there is some delay in loading and stuff but it's okay so now once it is loaded you are going to register one person you can register maximum of four persons so these are the uh, identity proof photo id proof you can give other driving pan passport pension npr smart card and stuff okay for example suppose i uh, nothing is mandatory any any of this you can select i select pan card for example and photo id number is uh, just your pan card number don't get confused with uh, photo id but it is a pan card number because i have selected the pan card and beneficiary name should be as on your pan card okay that they have clearly mentioned beneficiary name as should be in the photo id card so i just enter the pan card number even a small letter it will work and i enter the name now date of year it is it's not date of birth you have to give the date of year okay so here's something i have to say you uh, because as of now uh, only 45 plus age is uh, allowed here okay so remember this is do not enter complete date of uh, birth okay it is clearly saying year of birth y y y y format so for y's okay clearly they have given this uh, so only year is needed so what if uh, how how we will verify for example see i am entering 1961 so 1961 means uh, this is just uh, below 60 right so it's not 60 plus so 60 plus age will not have any conditions since i am giving 1960 you can see here i just entered 1960 that means this uh, person falls into 60 plus category and then directly the submit button is active this is what you have to note okay so i will just show you the other options so suppose uh, you are uh, below this okay say uh, so 59 it will take because anything below 1960 uh, and 60 will be taken now 61 if you give that means this person comes under the age group of 45 to 60 it's not 60 plus this person is not 60 plus till 60 so if those age group if you, you can also get vaccine but you should have comorbidities i have explained in previous video what is comorbidity it is like more multiple uh, more than one disease at a time you are having so 45 to 60 persons only if you tick this condition that means 45 to 60 plus comorbidity only able to apply so that means i am having comorbidity you have to check this option 60 plus is directly allowed as you can see so if you give anything 1960 or 
uh, below years. You can see here, 60 onwards, it is directly allowed. Senior citizens are directly allowed to submit. So in my case, say I am 45 plus, and so that is 76. 1976 is the starting age, uh, starting year. Okay, because if you are 45 now, that means you are 1976 or uh, below year, right? Okay, 76 plus not allowed because you are uh, below 45. Okay, you can see here just if you enter uh, 1977, it will not take. Okay, 76 is the last or below. Now, uh, say I am uh, 1976 here. This is what I explained. So, 1976 with comorbidity. As you know, comorbidity is you have more than one disease simultaneously at a time. So, you need a medical certificate to carry. Now, you can just book it. It will get reserved, but you have to carry. So, I tick that mark and click on submit. You can see here it is taken and the name is shown there. Now, you can add more beneficiaries. Maximum four is allowed. Okay, if we, uh, you can see here clearly it is uh, telling maximum four people are allowed. That is including you, including the person uh, who is uh, registering. Now, see the same procedure. You have to select any of this identity card of the second person or the first person now is uh, already added. Second person I am adding. Okay, I just think that he is a senior citizen person. Just example because that's why I am giving 1960. Okay, 60 or below is senior citizen and directly submit will work. You don't need to check the comorbidity option. See, you can see here two users are registered. One is uh, 45 plus and another is senior citizen. And now how to schedule a vaccination? This is just registration. First, you have to select the user like, like this. I have selected the second user and first I had to schedule vaccination for him. So it is all one by one. You can select one user and better register. You can even select both together. There is the option. It's not a radio button. So now this is a scheduling appointment window. Now you have to select the center. You have two options. If you know the pin code directly type it in the pin code. If you do not know, click here to find uh, state, district and uh, the pin code. For example, I'll just show you. I just enter a pin code here. 560002. Okay. Let it be any pin code. I click on find vaccination center. So it will automatically search for this pin code. And if you know the pin code, this is the easier method. And you click there, you can see here, according to that pin code, uh, whatever uh, government hospital and private hospital available in that pin code will be shown here. So better you can select some government so that it will be free. Otherwise you have to pay 250 rupees. Okay. Now, uh, otherwise, if you do not know pin code, click here. This is the button you have to click. If you do not know the pin code, I repeat, okay, please click here. Now uh, you can select the state first. It's not mandatory that it should be a native state. You can se st select any state accordingly where you are now. For example, I select here uh, Delhi and uh, Central Delhi, New Delhi, okay, and click on va find vaccination center. You can see here, uh, now the centers have come up. I have to select one center out of this. Okay, select vaccination center and after that, uh, okay, if you check availability after selecting vaccination center, it will not work because you have to select the date also. Okay, there is no mention, maybe they will uh, correct it later. So for that, see, this is the calendar for getting this, what you have to do, you have to click here in the space, maybe later they will show some text, but as of now, it is an empty click uh, just click here okay automatically when you click the calendar will come up so now i have selected the location uh, the hospital and now this is the date as you can see here today is three that's why uh, third and that's not there and from fourth onwards march fourth onwards you can select it so now here also procedure is select the date and click on set okay it will not highlight it will not show anything just you have to select the date click on set only when you click on set it will set the date okay only by selecting the date it did not take remember please okay after that you can see here i have selected uh, march 8th for example and i am checking the availability now you have selected the center and date click on check availability so yeah this is the problem here i just wanted to hold it on and tell you okay uh, so most of the places uh, there is already complained even through covid 2.0 uh, no slots are available this is because each state government has uh, is supposed to update the centers and the slot availability in this central website so if they are uh, they might do it in one one or two days because it is just launched and there is a rush all the things are going in a, uh, this thing it might take some two to two, two, three days 
if your slots are not available it might take two to three days to get it updated so don't worry about it you have two options either change your center try somewhere else nearby if that also not available you have another option to walk in there but it might be rush and queue and stuff so, uh, otherwise just wait one or two days and try this method here and then uh, this no slot will change to uh, availability i'll show you it's not uh, the same for everywhere for example uh, in delhi itself i select another location now because this location it was not available i just, uh, just change randomly and try another uh, location it's not available but i will show you it's not the same everywhere for example i was selecting rmil site 2 and for uh, march 5th and check availability i was able to get it uh, see see here so it's not true that everywhere you are not getting but most of the case if you, they have not updated uploaded you will not get it if slot is not available uh, you can try nearby or you can walk in or please wait one more day and try this method that's what i suggest to you wait one or two days and try this method because they are slowly pushing uh, the live status of each slot and it will be easier for you queue and rush will not be there now let us come to here now i have to select the date see this is the availability list here i selected or i searched from march 4th but it will show you continuous date of uh, five to six days uh, uh, again from the march 4th 4th 5th 6th and 7th might be a holiday that's why it's not there for example see now fourth i'm going to book what is the availability three seats are available in fifth there is 42 available capacity so if you are uh, so it is that way so if you have more members three or four members to book please select next day fifth day in this case so that uh, in uh, fourth day you can see only three options so now after that you have to select either forenoon or afternoon you don't uh, you can't select hourly basis for example i am booking on 4th march afternoon session i wanted to book one appointment so this is the procedure i just select the afternoon and i click on proceed button so you can select the date and then uh, uh, noon or afternoon for noon or afternoon okay click on proceed as you can see here review and confirm if you confirm uh, this will get confirmed and you get the slot booked okay i didn't find any sms coming in after booking let me show you i just click on the confirm appointment i didn't get any sms but it showed appointment successfully uh, scheduled so might be you walk in there with your mobile number uh, they have the proof and you have also option to reschedule for example i just booked only for one person here i can change the date okay i i wish okay today i don't want to i mean the next day i don't want to go do then i just click on the reschedule you can see here when i click on the reschedule the same page has come you can again even you can change uh, including state and district also there is no problem you can schedule anywhere uh, in india okay again find the vaccination and stuff so now one more thing i wanted to update you anytime connection is lost or you wanted to come back to main page the procedure is again same go to covin and again vaccination login so this is same procedure next time also you are not getting any username or password anytime logged out please come here again enter this uh, procedure of your number and otp comes to your mobile enter the otp and click on proceed to verify otp so this is the procedure each time when you log in maybe later they will change to username and password but as of now uh, only proceed to this thing see data is saved you can see here nothing is lost i had uh, one, done one appointment schedule and it is there two persons were added it is there so data is saved so you don't need to worry when it is logged out or whether it's lost or not when you have added the member or schedule it is there so if you wanted to add again some more member it till um, members till four you can click on add and if you want to delete a member you can click on the delete button here okay this is how you book the appointment take this take all your proof while going there uh, if you have some medical certificate for comorbidity if you are 45 plus please carry that also thank you so much for watching if you have any queries please uh, please write to us uh, please give a like to this video also subscribe to our channel thank you so much see you with another informative video